So we talk about the three uses of cocoon. This is the one that really intrigues me, bathing in it. There are cocoon spas now all around the world, now here in the United States. Talk about those and what the process is like when you bathe in cocoon. Uh, we are all over in the world right now, I can say, from Singapore to Budapest to Italy and uh, Brescia, uh, Wow in Holland, uh, Fritz in uh, in uh, uh, Slovakia, and now we're opening up one in Paris, and end of the year we're opening up one in London. And uh, more and more popping up in the United States also. We have one is built already in Las Vegas. People love it, coming from all over the world, flying into Las Vegas. And we are uh, opening one in two months in Los Angeles, and in about six months time to going to New York. And uh, I hope more and more city uh, gonna benefit out of this. Why is good? Because when you go into this water, is nothing like any water you ever touched. This water is have high pressure. That's the pressure what help us to bring the oxygen through your skin. And some people need to learn to uh, sink into the water. They can't. Uh, they cannot stay in the water because uh, the pressure forces them up. And. Uh, this makes your skin in 20 seconds totally different because of the pH of the water. And uh, the color of the water is absolutely blue. One very interesting thing is, uh, uh, is showing how much oxygen into the water. And more deeper you look into it, it's more bluer and bluer and bluer, just like the sea. Uh, it's 38 Celsius, and this 38 Celsius never goes down. It always stays 38 Celsius in the duration of time when you are in in 50 minutes. And uh, also, uh, the freezing points of this water is very interesting. We try to freeze the water. It's totally different freezing point as normal water. Mm. And uh, we tried it for 15 years to get the oxygen out of it, and we did not manage it yet. The oxygen is so stable in the water, we cannot get it out.